Okay, guys. Any of these words new for you? Any new words? Yes. Yeah, telecommuting is new for me. I've never heard this word before. Never. Teleconferencing, we use this in HCT. What's conference? Private meeting using the Yeah, no. So a conference is, is like a meeting, right? Yeah. So tele. tele. What does tele refer to? Tele. 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 What does conference refer to? Meeting? The meeting part. Have you heard this paternity leave? No. Uh, do you have this in the UAE? Paternity leave. Do you have that in the UAE? So if it's for, if it's for mothers, what's it, is it called paternity? If it's for mothers? No, I think. It's not called paternity. But what, what's it called? What's it called for mothers? For mothers. Mothers. It's not called paternity leave. For mothers. Mother and the. Yeah. Listen. Paternity is for fathers, right? But paternity is not for mothers. What's for mothers? Mother. Mother. Almost. Not paternity. Mother. Mother. Mm. Mother. 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 Exactly. Mother. Uh, Mother. Maternity. Mother. Maternity leave. Have a look at the next page. Exercise two. Uh, Hamid, could you read the instructions, please? So we talked about some new jobs, yeah? Yeah. Which of these which of these jobs which of these words is not new? I'll give you same time again. We've got some different answers. Babish, which one is um, <coughs> not new for you? Job sharing. Sorry? Job sharing. Job sharing is not new. Yes. Income. Yeah. Income, also income. income. Also income. 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 When we say new, how many years are we talking about? Five, three, 30 years, 40 years. Between 10 and 
Should we say 10, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for me it's income and flexibility. Yeah. I don't think 10 years ago they had teleconferences, did they? Where they had meetings on the telephone yeah. like that? No, I didn't think so. Or telecommuting, people working from home? Anyway. Let's listen to a conversation about um, people talking about um, modern jobs and this, this idea of having children and working and like the modern, the whole modern situation we're in, we're in now. Have a look at um, exercise three. Could you uh, read that for me, I think, um, Khaled? Read it for me, please. Exercise 3. Exercise 3. Listen and then choose the next title for the conversation from the service below. Are you the title? No, it's OK. Um, just ha have, a, have, a, have a read of those for a second. There's just one word I want to... Um, Check with you. Yeah. I think it is a uh, Can you turn around and tell everybody? Negative. Uh, for having children. So what? Downside is negative or positive? Negative. What's the positive? Absolutely. Now, which one is that? I can't remember. I've got two listening to you. I can't remember which one's the right one. I think it's this one. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's this one. It seems that families these days don't have enough money unless both parents work. But then childcare becomes a major cost. Things are changing though. Parents are being offered more benefits, like flexible schedules. But like you said, Ted, childcare can be a big problem. As I was saying, things are changing. There are more benefits for working parents, like paternity leave, unpaid family leave, and so forth. That's true. Like, in the past five years or so, more people have been encouraged to work from home, telecommuting and so on. That helps too. Going back to what you said about childcare, Ted, daycare centres are now being provided free by some companies. So parents can just bring their kids to work. But very few companies offer this benefit. That's a good point. Don, you mentioned unpaid leave earlier. I think it's great that parents can take time off without losing their jobs. I agree, but unpaid leave means less money. And like I said, families need two incomes. Just the same, I think the trend is for companies to offer more benefits, incentive, etc. to attract and keep good employees. Have a look at, have a look at, don't look at 4A, 
Look at 4B. And I, I just want to do a little bit of work on language now. And I, I want to give you a couple of expressions which are going to be useful in general conversation, but also really useful in the IELTS speaking. Right? Um, when, you, when you speak to somebody, when somebody speaks to you, how do they want you to, to react? Do they want you to, be, to, be, to look back at them and look interested? Or do they want you to kind of... No, they want you to look interested, right? Now, I don't know if, if this is the same in Arabic. But in English, there's a... When we want to look interested, we show the person, we, we listen to what they say. So we maybe we'll use an expression or, or, or we'll, even, we'll even say, oh yeah, I heard what you said and this is what I think. Do you do this in Arabic as well? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, we do it in Spanish as well. I, I guess it's every language, right? Yeah. 